like basically we went out to a nightclub that night and I always say I still, I, the door's still left on the latch because I left my front door on the latch. I remember specifically, I think, and I come in. You back left home. the house? Yeah, I think I coming back home that night and I never came back for 12 years, bro. Madness, madness in a nightclub, bro. And we ended up on the wrong side of, yeah. of gangs, basically. Yeah. We're going to get into all that later on. Yeah. But you know what he's like? He's just cool. He's yeah. not. He's just smiling and yeah. all that. He's just cool. Say he say hello to anyone. So he said he's walking to the front door and he see the see the people stood outside the yard, and and he said like, "Well, go on, like hello to them and that." And they said hello, and he walked past them as he got to the front door. Boom! They gun butted him, the back of the head. He's out cold. They drag him into the house. When he's gone into the house, all the girls are tied up, in 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 the living room. Pillow cases over their heads. They tie him up. I'd never seen um I'd never seen heroin before that. Mm. Obviously I'd seen coke, I'd seen weed, but I'd never seen heroin yeah. like that. Well not even coke, crack I'd probably seen crack, before yeah. that, but not but I'd never seen heroin and then I see that and I was like, yo, but they're doing their thing. But all I know is that my bridging got shanked. Mm. Yeah, and bro, that ain't happening again. Yeah. That's the way I saw it. It ain't happening again. So we knew that these people they had they had a thing buried in the back garden, didn't it? Yeah. So then I just took that, and then from that day there, you know what I mean? Yeah. So one guy got shot in the stomach, and another guy got wet across his face. And so, um. That's when I started calling the screws and I'm like, yo, Gov, why am I in this one and everyone's over there? And he's saying, like, um, because you're going to be going straight to the block. And I was like, what do you mean I'm going straight to the block? For what? He said, because we don't know, yeah, um, because of the severity of the crime, we don't know whether you're going to be a Cat A prisoner or not, so we have to wait for the Home Office. And that's the reason how... The way I, I got through prison was like, I have no concept of time, none. Mm. Even to this day, I have no concept. Most of the time, I don't know what day of the week it is, what year, any of that. All I know is today is chest, tomorrow's legs. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I know. Yeah, Just and, I live, on that. and I live three hour increments. So I have to eat every three hours. So that's all I do. And I'm finished, like, like like everyone thinks I'm finished or whatever. So I'm just that jail. This is my life for now. Yeah. So again, I spoke to him maybe a week before or something, and he just said to me, "Bro, I wish you was out here. Certain things are going on. I know they won't be going on if you was here." Mm. Anyway, um. I was phoning my girl one day and she was on the phone crying. I was like, what's wrong with you? And then she told me, oh, Leroy's dead. Damn. And I did just broke me, bro. I've I'll be honest with you. First thing, yeah, especially when it comes to violence, yeah, violence is the dumbest shit ever because you're not making a penny from it mm. and you're going to get the biggest sentence ever over some bullshit. So violence, that's dead. 